Pacific Theater, June 1942. The humid air hangs thick over the carrier decks. A young gunner traces his hand along the riveted belly of the TBF Avenger. Three tons of angular steel, bristling with gun turrets and bomb bays. It looks wrong. Too heavy. Overbuilt. Grumman's designers had crammed every protective idea into its frame. Armor plating, self-sealing fuel tanks, a powered dorsal turret. Critics called it overcomplicated, a flying fortress too slow to survive. The Japanese Zero pilots expected easy prey, lumbering bombers ripe for the kill. But at Midway, at Guadalcanal, they met something else. The Avenger absorbed punishment that would shred lighter aircraft. Bullets punched through wings, the plane kept flying. Crews limped home in machines riddled with holes, the armor doing what it was designed for, keeping men alive. By war's end, Avengers had sunk more enemy tonnage than any other U.S. aircraft, destroyers, cruisers, carriers torn open by aerial torpedoes. That overcomplicated design became doctrine. Survival wasn't a luxury, it was strategy. The rivets held, the crews returned. And in those welds and plates lived a simple truth, abundance of material, engineering, care.